Yeah, so we developed a method where we can print arrays of small particles in the micron and even nanometer size. Actually, the important point in this method is not really the printing, but how we apply the ink to the stem. Uh, as our ink are very small particles, and we need them to put them in very small holes, on tiny holes, on the stamp. And these particles are so small, and they are in water, suspended in water, so gravity actually doesn't help us to put them in these, into these small holes, and we have to rely on another force, and this force is the surface tension of water. So everyone knows this phenomenon, whoever had filled a cup to the, to the rim or even over the rim with water. And when you do this, you realize that you can fill quite a bit more than actually what fits in the cup and still the water doesn't spill. When we pull a drop with these small particles over our stamp, actually the surface tension of the water helps us at the edge of the drop to force these small particles into the holes of the stamp. And once we have them in, then we can take the stamp and print it to almost any kind of surface that provides enough adhesion for the objects. Uh, we think this is useful for anti-counterfeiting because, um, for example, if we talk about um, gold nanorods, these are rod-like um, particles, very small, also sub-100 nanometer in range. And we can align those on the stamp in a way that we control the place and we can control the orientation. And actually, after printing, there is an optical effect of such arrays that you can see simply by an optical microscope. So we can also produce random color arrays. Let's say we have a, a mixture of um, different colored fluorescent beads and we assemble this mixture in our stamps, in the, in the tiny holes in our stamps and the, the, possibil the possible color combinations, the number is so huge that it's impossible to predict the outcome or to reproduce. So even we cannot do the same, exactly same color pattern again. In principle we can print these arrays on any kind of high value object and integrate them on, on jewelry or like on, if you have a Swiss watch like, like this here we could print it on a, on a little tiny spot here and with a microscope you could anytime verify that this is a real uh, watch and not a, not a fake.